Hi everyone, Miss Silla here. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm planting flower bulbs in containers. And what's great about growing in pots is that it's convenient to move them around if you need to. You can put them in your garden, on your deck, or your patio. And it's also beneficial for both large and small spaces. All right, let me show you what I'm planting. The containers are filled about a quarter to a third of the way with potting soil. Make sure that your potting soil drains well. You can add a handful or two of perlite. Flower bulbs do not like to sit in water as they are prone to rot. We're going to plant varieties of tulips, hyacinths, as well as smaller bulbs or corms like crocuses, dwarf irises, and Spanish pink bells, also daffodils. We have some jewel toned or dark colored tulips. We have black, red, deep purple hyacinths, as well as pastel ones. I'm very excited about these daffodils. These are double pink coral daffodils and they are very fragrant. When you're planting flower bulbs, you want to bury them about two to three times the height of the bulb. So generally about four to seven inches for larger bulbs. Smaller bulbs or corms like these dwarf irises, crocuses, snowdrops can be buried between two to four inches deep. These are the queen of the night tulips. And these are almost black, a dark maroon color. These are the purple hyacinths. Now some of these bulbs are perennials, but the containers won't be able to sustain them for more than a year or two. What you can do when the flowers and the leaves die back in late spring or summer is dig them up and plant them in the ground. That will give them more room so they can naturalize. These ones are French perfume hyacinths. They are very fragrant. We have some pink and white ones. When you're planting your bulbs, make sure that the bottom is side down or basal plate and the pointy side up. I want to mention that most of these containers I am planting with tulips and hyacinths are at least 12 inches tall, even taller is better. These are pink and yellow tulips. So put the pink in between the yellow ones. These are Spanish pink bells. Go ahead and spread them out. I'm going to put some soil on top of those Spanish pink bells and then we'll put another layer of smaller bulbs. These dwarf irises will go on top right through the middle. These are an early blooming variety, so in springtime we'll have some early bloomers and the Spanish pink bells are late blooming, so it'll extend our season. This is also known as lasagna planting or layering. I also planted more bulbs in here. These are the ones that were layered. So we have some early, middle to late blooming varieties in here. That's going to be exciting in spring. I'm about to run out of daylight. Now I'm not going to water them in because we are supposed to get rain tonight and the rest of the week. We've gotten lots of rain between last night and today. Now I'm going to go ahead and top off some of these pots with some early flowering bulbs. Here are some snowdrops. These ones can be buried about two to three inches deep. I'm going to just push them down and then I'll add some more soil on top. I 
I initially planted a hyacinth bulb in these two containers. I went ahead and removed them and replaced the middle with some crocuses that will sprout in early spring. I also have more snowdrops in these pots here and more crocuses on this pot. So we'll go ahead and cover them up. I'm so excited for spring. Make sure to stay tuned. Many thanks to flowerbulb.eu for partnering with me on this project. Happy planting!